Marshall Parrish runs at his haters, addressing a style media narrative that has been targeting him for years. In a perfect flow and delivery, Mel Mel, the game Lord Jamar, and the rule Gen Z. Eminem responds to them and nobody is safe. Having teamed up with the newest and youngest Shader Records artist Easy Mill on his inaugural single Realist, Eminem talks from the position of power and experience, M's latest birds sound both personal and cold-blooded when he is talking about the onslaught of spiteful claims he has to endure. Shady talks to some old hip-hop heads to the younger generation, showing them the plus of their way. It feels like Eminem goes down the list of the most open, repeated offenses and deals with them one by one, starting with the most persistent one that says that Ems is only successful because of his skin color. Ems sees it differently. He feels that his race sets him aside and doesn't allow people to judge him solely by skills and talent. This would be the best. Being white ain't why they put me at a top five. It's why they can't put me at one. The next is the old claim that they don't play Eminem in the club, hood, or locker room, etc. There are way too many verses repeating this statement, despite of it being both false and of not importance. The game gave this narrative the most noticeable push lately. When he was chasing Cloud with his highly advertised Eminem this, the black slim shady, the real slim shady drives a nail in the head of this stuff. And that is the only retard is I'm not played with the clubs, motherfucker put a cork in it. Only reason they still play our shit in the clubs is cause you still perform in him. Back to the discussion around Marshalls and where it places him in the culture and addresses. The statement that Lord Jamal made several years ago providing my M's haters with ammunition. Eminem is a guest in the house of hip hop. Many hip hop giants debunk this standpoint since. Eminem himself has never claimed to not be a guest there. He never said that the house belongs to him, but the role he played in making this house big and respected should not be overlooked. And that's exactly what M says. I'm a guest in this house, but I turned this beach to a mansion. That's an expansion. Made it gargantuan. England, Germany, France, and Japan in this beach, even Dubai, because my music they do buy. Marshall didn't waste too many words addressing those from the younger generation. Tried to panel the old planes and regin reignite the discussion about M's controversy, citing his homophobic, misogynistic, and violent lines. He just reminded them to do their homework before talking to the elders. Gen Z is acting like rap experts. Zip up your gaps and close your mouths. Bitch, you ain't been on this planet long enough to tell me how rap's supposed to sound. And finally, the most recent attack on Eminem that media amplified. Another job from Mill Mel where he again attributes martial career achievements to his race. M shows respect to the group that propelled hip hop to new heights back then. Yet he knocks Mel Mel who spends much more time in the gym than in the studio. Shout to the purest pipe and grandmaster plush. But boy, this someone who really is pure use. Stay out his path, his right. Avoid and I'll be the last and I'll be the last to toy with a juice head whose brain is like half destroyed like a meteor hit it. Well, there went Mel Mel. We lost his ass two rides. Eminem finishes his birds with another supersonic speed section as many pants dreaded. However, I felt organic and definitely amplified the energy of the birds so even doubtful followers admitted that it worked together well. So, what's your opinion Eminem's latest track, Lodi? So, open a blogger sync away. 2.0 Rob some steel. Palau boy OFW, Brian and Julius, please subscribe. This is your homeboy Palaboy regarding with this track, this track to Eminem haters. So thank you guys.